everyone welcome back to another video and I've got a new name for the channel I don't know whether it's going to be up yet by the time this video uploads but uh, the new branding and what have you but I have got a new name and uh, I'm going to announce it to you now if it isn't already <laughs> on the channel which is adventures out as in adventures out but ad as in me ventures out because you know I go outside and do stuff and here I am outside doing stuff in my Sandbank style optimal kayak, single man kayak again and I'm here on holiday, I'm here, here is Devon in a place called Ladrum Bay which is a very nice sort of holiday park, we're here with our new caravan, or new to us caravan and uh, yeah this is sort of getting towards the end of our holiday, we've got a couple of nights, well four nights left here at Ladrum Bay uh, we've done a sort of mini tour of Devon but unfortunately whilst we've had some good weather in terms of sunshine the bits of coast I've been to haven't really been uh, favourable for kayaking so the first first place I went to was Torquay um, and Paynton oh big wave coming I'm a bit side on to these waves so it's not ideal uh, yeah, first place I went to was Paynton and Torquay and yeah, it just didn't appeal. The uh, beach wasn't all that nice at Torquay especially and uh, also the weather wasn't great. Uh, it was really windy. Uh, second place we went to was uh, uh, Plimpton near Plymouth, which was gorgeous. The weather was amazing sunshine, but the, I don't know, the, the coast down there, it just, it was all it was a constant offshore breeze. And whilst I did go out very, very briefly, I didn't take my camera because uh, I was a bit uh, a bit nervous of it and uh, yeah I came in almost immediately because I was fighting against a fairly strong offshore wind so uh, I kind of stacked everything off until we got here because we knew that this place has a private beach you can see the uh, the main leisure building up there with the swimming pool and the bar and all that kind of stuff uh, and there's a sort of private beach entrance where the uh, you can duck high boats and canoes and everything kayaks as well and uh, yeah, so this entire breach is private to the uh, holiday park and it's a nice sheltered little cove with a few rocks and caves to explore so I always knew that this would be the sort of main part of my kayaking, main kayaking part of my holiday so I've basically got four days here, the weather's not meant to be amazing but the wind's not meant to be pretty, the wind's meant to be pretty good and the sea's meant to be choppy but not um, you know massively bad uh, I think it's meant to get a little bit worse this afternoon so this is it's about 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm out for a couple of hours just to uh, this is the first day here it's the first full day here I'm just having it here for a couple of hours see what it's like uh, and the other thing to tell you is I've bought a new paddle so uh, it's upside down sorry about that uh, but yeah Enigma paddles uh, I bought this from uh, kayak and, and paddles in Devon here in Devon just uh, on a day out sort of came across the shop and uh, the guy there was very helpful managed to get a reasonably good deal on a kayak paddle a kayak paddle bag and uh, a springy um, a springy kayak uh, a springy paddle leash basically because I was just using a bit of uh, paracord from my paddle leash before which was fine but it was getting it was quite loose and it was getting tied up in my legs and stuff and I was a bit worried if I did fall out I'd get my legs trapped like caught in the paddle leash uh, so I wanted a springy one and this one's much better it was not you know it wasn't cheap but the paddle wasn't cheap either so the paddle is uh, it's a fiberglass shaft with carbon fiber ends so it's sort of like a hybrid it's uh, it comes in half and it's adjustable lengthwise from two I want to say 210 to 225, something like that. So uh, it's about right. 225 is about uh, about right for me. So I could have done with it a little bit longer, I guess. But uh, anyway, that's enough for me. I'm going to stick you in my pocket and let's explore some of these nice rocky outlets for an hour uh, before uh, my wife raises the alarm because I said I'd only be an out, out an hour before she uh, she should come looking for me. Uh, but it's nice being a private beach. I can leave basically all my stuff on the beach. I uh, don't have to bring my car keys and all that kind of crap out with me that I have to normally when I'm out in my kayak. So uh, I feel a bit, you know, if I if I got if I fall in, okay, I've got my phone and my camera with me in my dry bag, but you know, don't feel like I'm gonna have a problem. And uh, the water's actually quite warm. It's a bit uh, brown, I think, because of the because of the sort of uh, sandstone cliffs. 
the water has gone sort of red and brown. So it's not most inviting water, but it is a really nice bay. Uh, Pebble Beach, which um, the good thing about the Pebble Beach is it it's, uh, keeps sand off everything. Although my kayak is covered in sand at the moment because I did go out on a sandy beach very briefly uh, a couple of days ago and didn't get much, much chance to clean it. Uh, so I will do that at some point. Anyway, I'll put it in my pocket, let's have a bit of a paddle around and I'll talk to you uh, at the end and I'll show you maybe some interesting... There are some caves over here, but I don't know if the water is deep enough for me to go in it. Probably not wise in a, an inflatable boat. And also there's nesting birds. And I'm starting to get towards the breakers and I don't want to get slung against the rocks, so we'll just have a swing round. We'll head towards that big big stone there. And I'll just let the surf take me take me inwards. Use my paddle as a rudder. I wonder if there's enough water for me to get around the front of this stone. The tide is on its way in, so the water should only be getting deeper. I think high tide is around half 12. Uh, there's one of the three rocks that the pub in this site is named after. Uh, can I sneak around the front of here without popping my boat on a rock? Or getting tipped out by the surf? Easy peasy.
well. I think that's going to do it for me for now. I might come back out later. I think the uh, weather's meant to brighten up a little bit later on and the wind's meant to drop sort of early evening, sort of five, six o'clock. So might come out for an hour before tea. Uh, I do want to do a longer paddle at some point this week. I've got a route planned. Uh, I'm not going to say too much in case I don't get a chance to do it. But uh, it would finish here, basically. So the plan is to get a bus uh, further up the course, basically, uh, and um, have back here. But uh, it would depend on the weather and the uh, waves. Uh, maybe a little, you know, a little bit rough at the moment. I just ventured out past the end of the bay, and it's, it's pretty rough and uh, windy out there. Although the wind is blowing in the direction I would be going, so it wouldn't be too bad, I don't think. It's a cross shore breeze at the moment, uh, going northwards up the course, which is the direction I will be heading. Anyway, that's it from me. I'm going to have a one last paddle around the rock, uh, and then I'm going to attempt to get out without falling, you know, attempt to land on the beach where my bag is over there without falling in, which uh, could be a challenge in this uh, bit of surf. But I, I thought when I packed, uh, when I put my bag down, I picked the bit of beach that was least surfy, but that might be not the case now and uh, now the tide's, tide's going a little bit more so that could be interesting uh, we'll leave you running see how that goes uh, anyway I'll, uh, I'll catch you uh, in the next video but stick around to see me try and land this without um, going in would be good